Shut up and sit down. Hi, hello. I am the Cyber Roof Guru. Thank you for watching. So this is going to be a tech tip for Eagle CAD, where I demonstrate how to use labels and wire labels to simplify the schematic so you don't have wires running everywhere and creating a lot of visual clutter on your schematic. So let's get to it. Okay, so now we have the base schematic done. This is where I want to show you some of the uh, time-saving techniques for the future. So right off the bat, I just want to show you the label function here. Uh, there you go. And I just want to click on this and I want to show you so you can see how it snaps to the line there. So you can move this around and it'll maintain connectivity there. So I just want to lay down the labels of these signals right here. Now, why am I doing that? Um, because we're going to change the name and we're going to reuse the name here in just uh, one minute. So we're going to click on this guy here, which is the name function, and it's going to pop you up and say, what do you want the name to be? So in this case, we're going to want it to be clock in. We're going to want this to be data in. We're going to name this guy VCC. Name this guy ground, GND. All right, so now I'm going to add two other components. I'm going to add VCC. And we'll use that guy right there. Put that there. And then we're going to add ground. OK, so add, uh, I'm going to add a couple wires here just to show you something interesting. So I just added these two components, VCC and ground. And uh, I want to show you, if I put a label here on this wire, it is already called VCC, and this one is already called ground. So what this does is now you have instant connectivity between this VCC and this VCC and ground and ground. So anywhere where you label a wire VCC or ground, it'll be connected to these little elements these objects. So interesting factoid. Click here, copy. I'm going to copy the VCC signal. Right, and I'm going to rotate it and attach it to that pin right there. And then I'm going to copy ground and I'm going to attach it to that pin. Now I'm going to click the move button here and I'm going to move this out a little bit just to make a little extra space. You can see how they're connected. Oops, there we go. They're connected by wires. And if I highlight, let's see if I do info show VCC, you can see how this one is highlighted. The new one that we just connected is highlighted and then ground, uh, this one here is highlighted as well. And then ground is a similar situation. So this is a little time saving technique to show you that you can add components, in this case VCC and ground, uh, and you don't have to connect everything manually uh, by connecting the wires. Next time saving technique is to do exactly the same sort of thing, but using the wires. I'm gonna show this to you. So we're gonna say label. We're gonna label this guy again, All right? And then we're gonna change the label. Here we wanna say VCC. And it asks you, do you wanna connect uh, this N dollar sign one and VCC? Just say yes. The same here with ground. Yes, and now if I show VCC, these all three are connected. So even though from a from a graphics perspective, it doesn't look like there's any connection between any of them, the wires aren't directly connected. They are connected from a networking perspective in the schematic program itself. So this saves a ton of time uh, and a lot of like manipulating the wires and moving the wires around. And so why is this important? Well, when you get a lot of parts need VCC and ground or a lot of parts who need to connect to the same uh, net, uh, you can just use this labeling technique or the technique of creating these these objects here and, and connecting them that way. So you can imagine if I had maybe I don't know, 20 or 30 or 40 of these LEDs, how tedious it would have been to wire manually every single one of the LEDs, VCC and grounds together, and what a disaster it would look like on the printed circuit board or on, on the schematic here. So in this case, this just saves a lot of visual clutter on the screen. All right, well, I hope you enjoyed that tech tip for Eagle CAD. If you have any suggestions for future videos or other tech tips, 
please leave them down below. If you have any questions on this particular technical tip, please also leave them down below in the comment section. If you like the video, please give it a thumbs up. As always, if you didn't like the video, I'd appreciate a thumbs up anyway. Don't forget to subscribe and ring that bell. It really helps me out a lot these days and hope to see everyone soon.